Hi, this is Jane Douglas for GameSpot UK. We're here with Patrick Back, uh, executive producer on Battlefield 3. Thanks for joining us today, Patrick. Thank you very much. Um, I hear you're tired of talking about Battlefield 3. Would you like <laughs> to talk about something else instead? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm fine. Um, I'm actually not tired about talking about Battlefield 3. It's I'm tired in general. Oh, OK, well, that's fine. <laughs> well, in that case, let me talk to you about Battlefield 3. Ah. So, um, yeah, people are pretty excited about that, uh -huh. and um, especially about prone. Why, why, why is prone such <laughs> a big deal? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think people got a bit upset when we removed it. Well, we didn't even remove it from the Bad Company series because it was never a part of the Bad Company series. And then people thought that maybe, you know, we're evil and stupid. So now we're back to the core Battlefield series and of course it's back in. Okay, all right, prone aside, we'll, we'll, we'll take it back to basics. Um, pretty much, obviously, all our users are familiar with the game. Uh, for anyone who's managed to escape it so far, uh, give us give us the setup real quick. Well, all Battlefield games are first-person shooters. Uh, it's, uh, we call it all-out war because it's not only infantry, it's vehicles and there are some gadgets you can play with. And uh, There's a lot of strategy when it comes to the team play. That is a layer on its own. You don't have to play as a team, but if you do, it, you, you add a new dimension to it. So it's a very social you know, experience to play Battlefield. Obviously, it's, it's looking beautiful. That's thanks to uh, Frostpoint uh, Frostbite 2. Uh, what should people be looking out for specifically as uh, on the run up to the game? What, what's going to look amazing in the new engine? I think pretty much everything looks better with the Frostbite 2 engine. And of course, there's a, you know, it's not the engine itself. We don't have a make pretty button in the game. Uh, but the, the, the team that is building this game is, is very talented. It's uh, uh, the same team. In, in many cases as the team that built the, the Battlefield 2 game. So there's a lot of accumulated knowledge uh, that, that is uh, being put to good use when we're building Battlefield 3. Uh, I think you know, looking at the, not only the lighting of the environments, but also the animations of the characters and how real uh, you know, the people in the game, I would stop calling them characters actually because they look like real people. Okay. Um, in terms of the sound as well, I mean, Battlefield Bad Company 2 obviously was, was yeah. very well renowned for its sound. What, what are you doing that's special in, uh, in Battlefield 3? Uh, well, of course, we're like always, we're enhancing uh, even the things that are already great, so sound is no exception there. Uh, in general, you know, sound is, is, is very, it's very important that sound plays together with the rest of the game. So. Since we have this, you know, very quite unique uh, style and tone of, of the whole game, you know, it feels quite authentic. The sound needs to follow. You know, Bad Company 2 was a bit more tongue in cheek. You know, happy bunch of guys doing crazy stuff. Uh, the sound fitted really well. Now we're going in a more authentic direction, and of course, the sound then needs to be more authentic as well. Suppressing! I was going to say actually, uh, Bad Company 2 has obviously got a very different tone to a you yeah. know a serious military modern shooter but um so, so we're not going to see any of that any kind of like character led story stuff with a the sense of humor um characters yes but not that type of characters it's not the same you know tongue in cheek kind of humor in general it will be more you know real and serious okay sure tell us about the decision to go to a, a battlefield 3 game rather than a bad company 2 game uh, it's the game that everyone has been wanting to build and the game that everyone's been waiting to play. So it's a very natural move for us now. Uh, the reason why we couldn't do it earlier was actually because we didn't have the technology to build it. Because it's you know, looking at the game that you've seen today, it's, you know, we couldn't have built that with uh, any other technology than the Frostbite 2 engine. Um, you've got the 64 person multiplayer on the PC and 24 on, on the consoles. Yes. Uh, it, it's quite hard to make a splash with first person modern military shooters. Uh, what are you going to do that's different in multiplayer? Um, I think Battlefield as a core you know, mechanic is already very different from every other you know, first person shooter out there. Just the fact that we have you know, the vehicle layer on top of the infantry layers is one thing. We have the huge open you know, battles, big landscapes, you know, jets, helicopters, tanks. No one else is really doing that. And then on top of that, we're doing the more narrow urban fights as well. Okay, and then back in single player, we've seen some really short campaigns for some first person shooters of late. Uh, how do you feel about that? And I mean, Perhaps you can't talk about length, but how, how do you feel about the length of the single-player campaign in these, these kind of games? 
Uh, in general, I would pick a great short campaign rather than a you know good long campaign. Uh, I think I think people uh, in general uh, have a, con a concept of more being better. Uh, I don't agree. <laughs> I think better is better. Uh, so I'm not saying that we are aiming for a short campaign. We're not because we want to give you know you value for money. But again, there's there's no point in creating a too long campaign if it's not great. <laughs> Just one more question. Uh, although we're obviously hugely excited for Battlefield 3, um, what happened to Mirror's Edge 2? I can't comment on that. <laughs> Battlefield 3 will be out this fall uh, for PC, PS3 and 360. That's lovely. Thanks very much, Patrick. Thank